looks like Christmas came early and just in time because tomorrow morning I am driving up north going out into the swamps and we're going to do some camping and some hunting. I got my muzzle loader sighted in and I was at the range the other day, shot it a couple times. Actually, I shot it 20 times, 50 cal gunpowder muzzle loader. But I got my rifle sighted in. We're going to do some deer hunting. I want to talk about this beautiful box that I just got in the mail and I'm going to be bringing it with me. This is the Jackery solar generator, which means we're going to have power while we're out out in the woods doing our thing. Oh, yes, of course. There's a solar panel that comes with it. <laughs> So they are sponsoring this episode and this is gonna be more like checking out the product and testing it. And I'm gonna do a second video where we do a little island survival once I'm a little more familiar with the product and let you guys know how I, how I like it and what I like about it. But we're just gonna do a little unboxing. We're gonna get it set up and then we're gonna go out into the woods and hopefully get into a couple of crazy situations like my buddy Lee and I always somehow do when we're out there. All right, first things first, we got a box. Let me guess, charging cables. Am I right? Am I right? I'm getting too good at this. Wow, we got some beautiful orange charging cables. I like it. Okay, we got a car charger, a wall outlet, some kind of inverter, manual. <laughs> me, manuals, nah. I just want to get straight to the good stuff. There she is. Woohoo! She's even got wheels. Oh, snap. Wait a second, I didn't even know about this. I can wheel it around, damn, this is awesome. Here's a couple of specs on it. This is the Explorer 2000 Plus, puts out 3000 watts of power. It has a bunch of input and output ports. Input ports is charging it up, so you can input a solar panel to it. You can plug it directly to the wall. You can plug it into your car. This looks like a waterproof solar panel bag. Wow, that is a massive solar panel. Oh, hoo, hoo. All right, so while we're camping, we can set up the solar panel and it'll be full on charging this bad boy. So that way every night I can charge my laptop, all of our lights, everything that we need to hunt and film videos and edit them, of course, so you guys can watch them. Oh, the most satisfying part, peeling off the This sticker revealing its true beauty. I mean, that is a clean machine. Whoa, wow, this has a uh, 125 volt 30 amp plug. I've never seen that before. Uh, I don't have a use for that, but that's badass. Then you have your four standard uh, wall plugs. You got a couple of USB-C plugs, a couple of USB-A plugs. And then on the back is where your inputs are. So this is where you can, oh, that's an expansion port. So apparently if you buy multiple ones of these, you can link them all together and make like a super power grid. But uh, I just have one, so we don't need that. I wish, maybe one day. And then the other is for your charging inputs. So your wall, your solar panel, your expansion port, all the good stuff. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna test on this is we're just gonna plug it into my wall charger. Let's see where it came from the factory and how charged it is. Plug it into the wall. This goes into the back. Now it should probably turn on. Okay, there's a green power button. Let's push that. Let's see how loud it is. Some of these units can be pretty loud because of their cooling fans, but they're never really that loud. Compared to a gas one, they're like dead silent, but you know what I mean. I hear it turning on. There's a very quiet hum. It's like super quiet. All right, so we can see there's a current input of 1500 watts. So I got 1500 watts coming out of my wall, charging it right now, and the unit is at 30%. So when they mail it to you, it doesn't come fully charged, which I think is smart because there's, there's a reason they don't ship them fully charged. Probably has something to do with explosions, but perfect. This is her, my new friend. So I'll be packing her up packing the truck up and I will see you guys at five in the morning, 4.30 in the morning on my way up north to central Florida. Some old school gunpowder muzzle loading deer hunting. Let's go. If at any point in time during this video, you're watching me use this unit and you're like, damn, that thing is cool. I could totally use one of these. I'm gonna have my link 
to where you can get one of these in the video description below. They're sponsoring my channel. They're helping me out a ton. So if you go use my link and you'll get yourself a nice little discount using it. And let's see how it performs. Good morning. Got up bright and bushy tailed at six in the morning and we are on the road out here. Good old Florida Turnpike driving. Got the whole truck loaded down. Got my boots, got my knife kit. Hopefully I need that knife kit after this hunt because I didn't need it after the last one <laughs> The solar generator back there and I got a tr truck bed full of fun things my tree climber got my muzzle loader all everything I need for a good camping trip and a good hunt I got two more hours on this drive and I'll see you guys out in the woods day one We're gonna do some scouting get out in the woods set up our tree stands it's looking nice and crispy out here, though. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Last time I walked like way sideways off the thing, I got lost a little bit. Cool. Sweet. All right. We survived the swamp walk. Got my tree climber up. I'm overlooking a nice cypress over there. There's some nice oak trees right there. So I should have a pretty good view. Ooh, way up in that tree. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to get back out here at night. Thank God for GPS. Even the puppies overnight. We are back at the camp. Lee had to drive back into town because he done forgot a extension cord. So we are not able to hook the Honda generator to the, what would you even call this little camper? Because it's got an AC unit and it's got some electricity in there. Things pretty legit. It's actually for how small it looks on the outside, pretty big on the inside. I have a couple of stakes that I will be throwing on the trigger, or not on the trigger, on the uh, charcoals. Some good steak. We also got some brats and that smoked fish that I made with Adrenaline Rush Adventures two days ago. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself a nice piece of smoked fish right now. And you know what I love smoked fish with? A cup of coffee. And big, big shout out to Jackery once again, this video sponsor. I have it set up. I was just charging my phone on it. I'm gonna charge my laptop on it. Hopefully do a little bit of editing as we sit next to our little campfire. I'm about to put some charcoals in there. Then we'll throw the steaks on. And that is a coffee maker. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be making some coffee tomorrow morning. So I'm really stoked about that. It's kind of hard to get a hot cup of coffee when you're out in the woods, but not when you got a beautiful power supply unit and of course we got our seasonings some Malden salt and some South Florida fishing channel seasonings that I'm gonna put on the steak mmm look what I got steaks mmm it's gonna be like almost an hour before Lee gets back so he had to run to town to get the extension cord for the Honda generator so we could get some AC in the uh, camper. But while we wait, we're gonna salt some steak. Now under me, I have a nice little fire going. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's a good, good nice fire. My favorite way to season steak, 
simple. Salt. That's it. Nothing else. I don't put pepper on it. I don't usually put anything else on it. Sometimes I'll put some like garlic and onion seasoning on it, like the South Florida Fish Channel Fish and Game seasoning. A nice, good, hearty steak, I think salt suffices. And I go pretty heavy on the salt, especially when I'm cooking it on charcoals. Bam. We're gonna flip them and do the same thing to the back side. Now I'm gonna let these steaks sit for about 30 minutes, covered in this salt, so. Put them on our little coffee maker there and drink lots of water. Definitely want to be hydrated for tomorrow because trekking through the, the woods is tough. The swamps, I mean, it took us like an hour and a half to get out there. How the muscles looking? Okay, good. I gotta make sure that I stay up to par, you know. I think my left arm is smaller than my right arm. <laughs> Gotta work on that. Well, I'm gonna sit back, relax. I can stick my phone on the charger with the Jackery unit. Freaking thing is awesome. You know, shout out again to Jackery for sending me that. Baiting on getting the laptop out here and quickly editing up this video and posting it. But part of me just wants to kind of just take in the sunset and not be looking at a computer screen. So. If I don't get this video out today, huge apologies. I'm just trying to enjoy the sunset. I also have very bad signals, so I don't even think I'd be able to upload anything out here. So there might even be a day or two where I don't upload. You have such a nice sunset going. I don't know, can you? It's in a camp. Dude, it's cool in here. Look at the uh, charcoals are getting real piping red hot. Life is good. Life is good. Yeah, I got like a power station in here, coffee maker. I got my boots drying on this grill. Now I'm throwing the steaks on. Four in the morning, brewing some coffee. Yeah, buddy. Five in the morning. We got our bikes, guns, boots. Lee's all souped up. Time to head out in the swamps. Lee's carrying my boots for me like a champ. Woo! Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Oh my God, my front almost went under. Big old gators. Uh, we should go gator hunting back here. I'm making pretty good time right now.
Oh sh through the water around the woods. Oh, this is great. Woo wee! Coming through. That would be pretty sick. I mean, he doesn't need all those back straps. What's he gonna do with all those back straps? <laughs> you don't. Well, I haven't showered in like three days now, but I saw a buck. Six hunts, six hunt, saw the duck. We did a morning, a night. Well, first we did a scout, a day of scouting, a morning hunt, an evening hunt. That was a full day hunt, all 16 hours. Then we did morning, evening. Then this morning, five, six, oh, six hunts? No, five hunts. And we just packed everything up. And we were about to head out, at least taking a nap because we decided we're gonna give it one last try. I put a new bullet in my gun, so that might be the key to solving all of our problems. But we've put in a valiant effort, and I'm proud of that. And we've seen a lot of does. We've seen, we've seen so much, we've learned so much. I had such a beautiful buck walk out in front of me at like 50 yards, and he didn't stop walking. I couldn't get him to stop walking. Never had a shot. I could have shot him in the ass but he had a nice rack and I didn't take the shot. I think we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him tonight, boys. Last day of muzzleloading quota hunt. Let's do it. Right now it's 1247 and I think we'll rest for like an hour, maybe two hours and try to get out to where I saw that buck this morning and try to be set up in a tree around 3.30 p.m., something around that. We were just trying to hunt hogs today. That's why we were just, uh, I wasn't in a tree stand today. We were just walking around trying to find some hogs and that's when I saw that freaking buck. So we're gonna go back to that spot and set up some stands. All right, last day. You've been 
fucking any witches that have been cursing us? Probably. God damn it, like, well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now we see whose fault it is. Damn. Packed up. We're out of the swamps and back to civilization. What a crazy last four, four days. We did one full day of scouting, three full days of hunting, and just to get from where we start hunting, where we jump on our e-bikes, to getting to the tree stand takes about an hour and a half through swamps and trails and all sorts of stuff. So, you know, when you're waking up early, going out to your stand, sitting in the stand all day, coming back, sleep for a few hours do it all again over and over Woo! you know it was quite an adventure saw a lot of cool things and i feel like i'm getting better i'm learning a lot with every hunt i feel like i'm just that much closer to finally uh wrapping my finger around this whole thing you know i i saw two bucks which was amazing the first buck he came out and he walked by so fast and like all i can do is think in my head what could have i done different Maybe I should have grunted at him, try to get him to stop walking. I had maybe two seconds where I could have shot him. And the problem is with my muzzle loader, it's it's a new gun for me. I wasn't really trained at using it, but tomorrow general gun season opens, which means I can use something that I'm comfortable with. In this case, this is my 300 blackout that I just built. And I've been taking it to the range a lot running some drills with it and i'm extremely fast with this gun i understand it very well it shoots a beautiful 300 blackout that's a big bullet and extremely accurate i'm putting um about a one inch group at 100 yards so super super accurate super fast this time, if there's a deer walk in, I'll just see the deer on target. Boom! Snip, snap. There's none of the, like, trying to get comfortable using a shooting stick, none of that. You know, I got my sling set up just the way that I like it. I can also swing it around on my back, so it's very easy for me to be hands-free, walk in the woods, get to where I need to go, be super quiet about it. Then when I'm ready to shoot, I can just get into position. I also can shoot with uh, both both left-handed and right-handed, kind of depending the way that I set it up. I can move my sling up if I want to carry it on my back or if I want to do more like quick draw stuff once I'm in the tree stand, I can snap it on there. This is my baby, and I'm gonna be shooting her in the next video. I am also building a 6.5 Creedmoor and a 308, all on the AR-10 platform. So we got a couple of gun builds coming up. Those are my big daddy guns. But here in Florida, we're just shooting deer within 100 yards, maybe 150 yards max. I All the spots that I have are, you can't even see more than 200 yards. Definitely uh, not 300 yards. And, the 300 blackout is pretty pretty dialed in all the way up to 300 yards, so super comfortable with that rifle. And big shout out to Jackery, of course, letting us brew some hot coffee out there. When I came back after four full days of using this unit to charge my phone, charge my laptop, make hot coffee, we ran and charged our lights on it, our headlamps and everything. It only went down to 70% battery, which is amazing. With, because, well, <laughs> I was hoping I could use the solar panel unit to charge it, but there was no need for it because this thing was able to hold such a nice charge. And I will be bringing it back out with this next hunt where I'll be going out tomorrow morning. We're gonna do some scouting and I'm gonna find a place to set up and we're gonna try to get another buck or a hog. That'll be the upcoming video. If you wanna get yourself a Jackery unit, the link's gonna be in the video description below. So big shout out to them again for sponsoring this video and also a big shout out to PC Fun 
who sponsors all of my fishing videos, you know, but sometimes I gotta throw in a little hunting video. You know, tis the season, hopefully we get some deer meat next video. But I'll see you guys on the next episode. Cheers.